GrowSafe Systems is an Airdrie, Alberta-based company founded in 1990 for the purpose of maximizing the profitability of livestock producers and at the same time ensuring animal health and well-being. Today, office manager Don Turner is giving co-owner and CEO Allison Sundstrom a ride to the office, where they continue to utilize the latest in technology to the benefit of producers. What we've been looking for for the last 20 years is we've been looking for what can we measure? What's the least expensive thing that we can measure that makes the most production sense or the most value to ranchers or farmers? This is Morrison Farms near Airdrie, a diversified beef cattle operation with 350 mother cows and a 4,000 head feedlot. Since 2004, it's also been the GrowSafe research facility where they have developed and fine-tuned their innovations. Rod Morrison says the GrowSafe feeding system is an important money-saving tool since it tells them which cattle have the best feed conversion rates. And on the tests that they've done, we're seeing cattle convert from 3 to 1 to 14 to 1. So with feed grains expensive, I mean, this is really important and we can really reduce the cost of and the inputs of uh, finishing some animals. Sundstrom says their system measures both the animal's behavior and their feed intake at the feed bunk. How it's constructed is there's an RFID antenna built into the rim of the trough and as well, the trough is suspended on a series of load cells and the load cells measure to a 30 gram accuracy. So the load cells, each time an animal comes to eat, we're measuring everything that disappears from the bunk. We actually sample these load cells and we sample the RFID tag every second. What that enables us to do is to ensure that we're actually recording what an animal eats and not perhaps what a bird eats or the influence of wind and other things. So it's a highly accurate system. After measuring what an animal actually eats, they compare it to what the animal should eat, and the difference is known as the residual feed intake, or RFI. They also factor in how well the feed is converted to weight gain in the RFI trait. So if you select for this trait over a period of years, you can make a significant difference in how much, how much animals are eating. Uh, we've, in the research we've conducted so far, the reduction in feed intake can be as much as 12%. And that translates to a lot of money on today's feed prices. In the feed yard, that translates to about $120 over a 150-day uh, feeding period that one animal could eat less than the other. So that's a significant saving. The folks at GrowSafe have determined that if an animal doesn't drink for 24 hours, chances are good it has a significant health problem. With that in mind, their most recent invention is a watering system which measures both watering behavior and actual intake. They're putting their feet, uh, their two front hooves are being placed on a platform that uh, is measuring their partial body weight. The load cell mechanism actually isn't in the base like a typical scale, it's suspended in the top of the, of the system. That's because we need a system that not only does all the things that we'd like it to measure, but it also has to be reliable and robust. If you place the scale platform in the, in the base, it would bind with manure and mud. So as an animal steps onto that scale, we're continuously measuring its body weight while it's drinking. Using the RFID tags on the cattle, the watering system gives them early indication of disease problems as well as important marketing signals for each animal. As we start approaching the time when animals are ready to go to market, we are looking constantly to see which animals have, have increased their gain, which animals are still increasing gain, and which animals have stopped growing and are ready for market. So when we get to that point, either when they're sick or when they're ready for market, we'll identify them. Booms equipped with solenoid valves are used to paint the cattle, which identifies them for pen riders who need to pull them from the pens. Back at the office, Sundstrom relies on Technical Services Coordinator Kevin Garasino to examine feeding and watering data and identify animals who aren't drinking and therefore may be sick. So on the top screen, we have uh, the feed intake system. Um, the bars uh, represent each individual bunk and it's real-time data. So the height of the bar is the weight of the bunk with the feed in it. And each time that we see an orange bar, and we can see some of these bars change color, any time the bar is orange, it will be an EID um, being read for an individual animal. 
down on the bottom screen, it's the same basic principle except that it is um, water intake. Um, again, each bar represents a different node. Um, and actually the height of the bars in this case are the weight of that animal sitting on there. And the blue is that we're getting water flow at that time. Another advantage of the GrowSafe system is that cattle are weighed without the stress of confining them to a chute. Right now, the units are not for sale. Instead, they're leasing them out to producers. Costs vary depending on the needs of the individual operation, but the watering system usually ranges from $3 to $12 per head. 